Happy Saturday, viewers. Welcome back to Let's Really Ghost Thief 2. Today's mission is Precious Cargo. I had a false start earlier, so that's why the save looks the way it is. It's not the end of the mission like it usually is. So, we'll get rolling right there at the beginning. Take a minute and look at the objectives. We need to kidnap Cavador and return with him to the rowboat. We need to find Lotus. Find and read another passage from the new scripture of the Master Builder. Retrieve the antique navigation globe from the old house. Find the long-lost pirate treasure of Captain Markham. And do so all without killing any mechanists. Let's take a look at the map. We've got a pretty good detailed map of Markham's Isle. We came in through an underground stream. We're going to have to climb up Long Tom's Wall. We'll emerge in a well, although we actually won't since we're going for supreme rules. There's another way up that doesn't involve messing around with any switches. But the island itself consists of a cold storage unit, a lighthouse, the old house, and we have no idea where Cavador is. If I were Cavador, where would I be? So you can start off by running up to this big drilling machine. Be careful because it's made of metal. As we creep up the ramp right here, you'll notice a switch up top. You just need to hit it and then you can immediately turn it back off. You've doubtless heard the patrolling mechanist below us, so we're going to wait for her to leave. It's not quite possible to supreme this mission, but I'm pretty sure there are only two required busts, so... Unlike Life of the Party, I'm going to do my best to avoid them. So now if you go to the front of the drill, you'll find a silver nugget that wasn't there before we activated it. Worth 50 brings the total to 50. And... we got spotted, amazingly enough. I thought we were safe. Might have moved a little too fast, actually. Let's give her a little longer to get all the way around the corner. Now, we want to sneak into this shadow. We can watch for her to pass by going the other way and then sneak in behind her. <clears throat> it's all downhill for me after Life of the Party. It's far and away the best mission in the game. There are a couple that I really dislike in the last five missions. I do like Precious Cargo. It's fun. It's got good atmosphere. It's a long way up. It is a little on the easy side, and there's not a whole lot of challenge associated with it, but it at least has a unique flavor to it that's lacking in a lot of Thief 2. So the best way up is just to go ahead and grab this rope right here. Be careful of the watcher up above us. <clears throat> As it turns away, we can just climb just about all the way up this rope because, as you can see, we're perfectly shadowed. And when the watcher turns again, keep climbing all the way up to the top. Now we want to jump into this corner if we land anywhere else, that standing guard is going to spot us. Now behind this grate is the workshop. That's the way we're supposed to go, but I don't want to have to sneak back and reclose it, so... What we can do instead is actually get up the ramp straight to the lighthouse. It just requires us to time the AIs correctly, so... I'm going to wait for the patroller to cycle back down here, and then I'm going to abuse quick save and quick load to get the standing guard to pivot the direction we need her to. When she's turned around, we can creep along the wall, and as long as we're right behind the patroller, we have time to get into a shadow and eventually sneak our way up the ramp without any alerts. So if she doesn't turn around in the first 10 seconds or so, I'll just reload until she decides to cooperate. 
<laughs> this should be good, I think. So, let's get moving. Of course, Garrett picks that moment to, Friend, get, did to get stuck on the wall, as he's wont to do. But good cog is that. If we can avoid. Good cog is that. If we can avoid that, it's possible to creep along this wall without getting any comments from her. I am different. Was the builder that made me so. I am tireless. Twas the builder that made me so. Once you're past that light, you're usually good to speed up because by now you're directly behind her. Need to hop over those barrels. <gasps> and up here. You? I just need to move a little bit faster. Because she pauses up there. at the top of the ramp. I am Twas the builder that made me so. I am tireless. Twas the builder that made me so. Good call, <sighs> that you? And finally, I need Garrett to mantle instead of jumping like that. But for Good a moment, call, I Anyway, you can see this isn't that bad, just having a few <laughs> issues with the controls. We got very lucky with her pivots on those first several runs. <laughs> I knew that was bound to happen eventually. Art thou there? By the builder, reveal thy. There. Thou there? There. I'm gonna just get a save going where I'm already around that corner so I can at least eliminate that hurdle. <gasps> there we go. Good. To me, that's worthy of the first real save. From here, if they both turn around, it's a pretty simple matter to creep the rest of the way up the ramp. Of course, it's so steep, you kind of have to stand up and do your shift walk. that guy. Let's stay to the left. <laughs> Hopefully this is sufficient. If he turns around without comment, then I'll know we're good. Now just stay under this thing and Head all the way over here. I'm gonna do another save now that we're up on the island. We're actually gonna head into the workshop from the other direction, climb down the well in order to get the loot down there. But this saves us the trouble of messing around with any of the gate switches back at Long Tom's Wall, which is nice. 
There's one watcher inside the workshop that we'll have to time, but it's easier coming from this side. Around behind this workstation are two more silver nuggets. They bring the total to 150, and we have some reading material. Friend Gorik, please make thou haste in repairing this child, that treacherous pagan didst harm it most grievously. But fear not that any more of thy companions will be harmed, for the saboteur hath been, hast been subdued. Friend Pendelis. Okay. Drop that back where we found it. That's it for down here, so head right back up the well. No problem. So we do have to be careful of the uh, wandering mech up here. It shouldn't alert to us right here, so we can wait for it to turn around before we actually hop out. Then I'm going to head straight for the lighthouse. Now that he's safely headed away, get out of the well, creep across here, and slip into the lighthouse. We'll tackle the old house as sort of the last step before we really move things along. Who's there? What noise dost make? I was worried about that. There's one patroller who goes all the way up and down the stairs in this lighthouse, so... Sounds like he's pretty close, so I'm gonna wait under the stairs for him to pass by. Actually, sounds like he's getting farther away. I think he's moving upstairs. So, scratch that. We'll follow him. Shadows are pretty frequent as we go up these stairs, so. And in most of them, there's room for him to get by if we get off to one side. So, there he is. So, with that done. Keep going all the way up to the top. Head up this ladder. Just grab the key off of this priest. That's our first of four pickpockets. We've got a key to the cold storage shed, and for whatever reason, that ladder is actually properly programmed. We can just step off the bottom without any sound. So bring the key with us. Next, we're gonna, astonishingly, go to the cold storage shed. I'm gonna wait here in the interior segment until he passes by on his way back upstairs. Connected to the step gear, the step gear connected to the steam jack. Oh, hear thee the word of Karis. And there came with an oxen and Karis noted. And there came at the sycamore, and he did rain blows till it too was sorely smoted. And two lamblings came that he, one and the next, did smoke bravely and well. I just like to hear everything our boy has to say, so. The wheel seems to be missing a peg. With that, we can just slip back out the way we came in.
can be helpful to wait till you see the robot turn around and head the other way. Now you see the sentry over on that platform. There's some gear up there which we could ignore because we don't need it. But it isn't that hard to get if you want it. You can just creep up the ramp and creep up behind her. Let's wait till it's clear. Hopefully till she's facing the other way. Perfect. Now we'll just head back through this tunnel. Once again, pushing it here, but I should be okay. And into the cold storage shed. Oh, what they keep on ice. So head through here. Lotus. S -s Still, I breathes. Mechanist. I'm no mechanist. I'm Garrett. Garrett, yes. The lady knows me you would come. Knew I would come, but... Hush, sneaksy friend. Time runs out. There bees a mechanist named Cavador. Garrus needs him. Relies he on his craftsy works. Garrus always asking. Needs he ever more and more from Cavador. The Cetus Project. Cetus Amicus. Horror of the Seas. Horror of the Seas. Must... Tells the lady. Don't worry. I'll find Cavador. Karis will be stopped. He, you'll need... Takes you the key. Beware. And... Garrett. Yes, my friend. What can I do? The cold... Feels nothing now. Garrett, I, I begs, return me to the green. Kill me! Ugh. I'm not going to be mercy killing him because, you know, ghost rules and all that. So let's grab the wheel peg. Head right back out of here. Interesting bit of trivia. He describes it as the horror of the seas, but Cetus Amicus actually means friendly whale. So we have no further use for this key, so I'm going to return it to the top of the lighthouse. She might spot me if I don't wait for her to turn, so there we go. He's probably on his way upstairs, but I don't know that for sure, so. Oh, he's stuck. Well, I think I can work with that. this, we can just hop up, mantle over on the side behind him, if that wasn't obvious. If we go to the opposite edge of the room, we can drop it without any issues. I just need to get back on the ladder and head back down. Him. And said, lay down my I haven't seen him get stuck yes, before. That's interesting. So we lay them down and seen this We're about to leave this area for good anyway. Well, 
And by the way, it should be noted, we have found Lotus. <clears throat> we'll tackle the old house next, and through the lighthouse is definitely the best way to get there. All the other entrances are pretty well guarded. So, head in here. Be careful because the patroller outside can spot us through the windows. In this room, there's a purse on this table, brings our total to 170. On this counter, there are two pairs of coins worth another 20 each. Together, they bring our total to 210. Now we need to get to the second floor. Just through this door. Up these stairs. The first thing I want to do is get the purse from one of the conversationalists, because during the conversation is the only way to do it without any alerts. Construction is proceeding as planned, friend. Even below thy feet we extend our workings. The structures those pirates left behind are structurally adequate, but they show their unworthiness in the clear light of the builder's torch. Soon they will be replaced by iron and steel. The lighthouse seems sound enough. When once I was a hammer... The order of the hammer. Ha! The old ways are dead, my friend. Thou wert right to forsake the crudity of the hammer for the majesty of the gear. Aye, tis true that the old ways are... What noise there? Construction is proceeding as planned, my friend. <laughs> Even below thy feet we extend our working. The structures those pirates left behind are... This should fetch a nice price. But they can be effective still. Look around you, friend, at these rotting planks and beaten boards. It would take but a hammer and nail to put things right again. Again, you think of the past, of repairing the unworthy wood. Tis folly. Begin anew. Construction is proceeding as planned, friend. Even below thy feet we extend our working. The structures those pirates left behind are structurally adequate, but they show their unworthiness in the clear light of the builder's torch. <sighs> Construction is proceeding as planned, friend. <clears throat> Even below thy feet we extend our working. Who the tread there? Construction is proceeding as planned, friend. <clears throat> Even below thy feet we extend our working. The structures those pirates left behind are structurally adequate, but they show their unworthiness in the clear light of the builder's torch. Soon, they will be replaced by iron and steel. The lighthouse seems sound enough. When once I was a hammer, the order of the hammer. Ha! The old ways are dead, my friend. And take a minute to read this and catch up on everything I did during that conversation. My dearest Virginia, I beseech thee, my love, return not to Starlight Cove. Those notorious pirates are back, and I fear they mean to remain. Last night I overheard two of the scoundrels. I believe they're planning on establishing some kind of base in the underwater caves. I fear for my life, but the time has come to take a stand. To be safe, I've hidden our valuables in the crawl space. My only hope is that the courier ship arrives on schedule so that this letter is delivered to you in time, your beloved Nathaniel. So there's the purse to lift off one of the talkers. There's another purse on the guard in the attic. Also in the attic, there's the switch to open the secret down below, which has three silver coin stacks and the navigation globe, which is one of our objectives. When all is said and done, you should have three out of four pickpockets, the one and only secret for the mission, the navigation globe objective should be checked, and you should have a total of 376 loot. Take but a hammer and nail to put things right again. 
Again, you think of the past, of repairing the unworthy wood. Tis folly. Begin anew, so that thy buildings know the glory of metal and gear. Something so corruptible deserves not the builder's regard. Perhaps not, friend. Perhaps not. Still, it troubles my heart to look upon such disrepair. So one of them starts patrolling when they're done talking, so we'll just quickly slip back into the lighthouse. Somebody spotted me. I think it was that guy through the window. It's that shadow move. Oh, he got unstuck. That was the problem. Okay. That I can work with. Let's wait till I see him heading back upstairs. There he goes. All right. The piston connected to the spiral valve. The spiral valve connected to the step gear. The step gear connected to the steam jack. Now well, I'm gonna wait for the guy outside to and pass by too. Okay. Now I think we're finally clear. Okay. Good. So, just head into this interior section, place the wheel peg, and make sure to spin it back immediately. Send that back up. Now Garrett starts to draw his own map of the secret underground base. Right now we're in the observation room. Send that back up. Let's read this right quick. Attention, due to the recent mishap involving friend Ventus, I have installed my own invention of non-slip mats in the subaquatic outposts. These devices are full soft as carpet, yet also completely water resistant. I promise thee, these mats should allow all mechanists to stand tall before Father Karras and the Master Builder himself, friend Manus. So, there's a watcher to our left, which is actually kind of tough to get past. You just have to time it well. Now let's open this up and our objectives are going to change. Hmm. That must be the Cetus Amicus. I guess I'll sneak aboard and have a look around. So you see that big bay door opening? I want to shut it behind me. Both because it recloses the observation room, meaning this guy can't spot us later and just for Supreme. So you need to wait till you see that patroller turn around and leave so you can get in behind him then hit the switch Who's there? Don't run quite like that, but... You do also need to time the watcher, so... Hopefully I can do a little bit better job of that this time This is a good place to save, with the observation area shut behind us. <coughs> Wait for him to move back up the passage, and let's look at our new objectives. 
find Lotus, although it was completed, has now disappeared, in case you were wondering. And we now also need to board the Cetus Amicus and find and read the captain's log to find more information about the mechanist's operation. As we continue to map, we're now in a tunnel down. So once he heads back up and you hear that the robot's not around, you want to cross this room and initially head this direction. This is another great shadow to hide in. We've passed through the cargo staging area to the pressure door controls, which we're never going to touch. There's a water passage in front of us, but there's another stationary guard we need to worry about. He does pivot to face backwards, which we need him to do. Is that thou, friend? In addition to having him facing backwards, we need to creep across here without triggering any alerts, and we need to do it before. Sake, is there someone there? Okay, see, he turned back around. What the big rope. The big robot is on its way back. We need to make it across without comments before the robot gets back. Come into the light so that I might see thee. Which can be tough, I'm not gonna lie. I think the trick is to back up and then creep along the wall. I moved a little too fast, but if he'll stay turned around, we actually stumbled upon a pretty good window, as long as I move slow enough, which I have trouble doing. Let's see if he'd just stay turned around. We almost had it. <laughs> Once you're in the tunnel, you're basically in the clear. And that's worth another real save to me, because that's one of the more troublesome spots. So once we swim into here, we have a lot of options for how to proceed, because there's a lot to do in this area. As you can see, we are now... Well, we're off the map right now. Let me find a good place to surface. This is a good spot. As you can see, we've made our way into the main pirate base. The first thing I'm going to do is go after the pirate treasure, which is on through this tunnel, underwater tunnel, on the southern end of the cavern. So we swim up through here, out this hole, and get ready to rock. Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum. Should be obvious that the corpse here on the stairs is a bad omen, but as we head up here we find another note. If you be reading this note, ye likely be here for the bounty of the good ship Catherine's Folly, the same as the fool before ye. Ye best be turning back now and stay out of me vessel's hold, for you suffer the same fate as he, Captain Markham. Now this is one of the two places where we have no choice but to take a supreme bust. Let me show you how it's supposed to work before we solve it. If we go in here, we swim down under the water, open the giant chest, it's a whopping 400 loot and we can't skip it for supreme, we have to do it because it's an objective as you may have noticed. Now you'll hear haunt noises. When we open the door, we discover the pirate captain staring straight at us. There's no way to get out of the hold with it working the way the programmers intended. 
what you can do is take one of these pieces of rubble. It's an engine exploit, so it busts supreme, but it does leave ghost intact. Drop it right where he appears. And I've done this multiple times, but you'll want to save before you commit yourself, obviously. A piece of rubble placed right where he shows up has the effect of making him turn 90 degrees when he first spawns. If you place it exactly right. Be quiet coming up out of the water. See, I placed it too low, so let's try moving it up. That might do it. I don't think so. That, that looks right. Okay, that's a good placement. It's gonna turn him to face his right, our left. So, I'm gonna do another little trick, which buys us a little time. I can... Oh, but I wanna do it the other way, don't I? I can still get in and out. Now the idea is I want to block his field of view, pop out what will be behind him after I get the goodies. He will still first alert. I haven't ever managed it without that. We should be able to avoid hunt mode, at least. There he was, settling down from his first alert, so we'll just take this away, take our two supreme busts, but be happy with our finished objective and our 400 loot, which brings our total to 776. In the interest of avoiding more first alerts, I want to hop over the railing. Get down that way. I'm sure I can avoid that one. Maybe I should just go down the stairs. Yeah, that turns out to be better. <coughs> now we can floor it over to the right side. and just leave the captain standing there forever. So, back into the water. That showed up on our map as pirate treasure. Awesome. Gonna tackle this building next. The pirate shanty itself. I don't think anyone actually comes inside here. So don't worry about all those footsteps you hear. Reading material. Articles of the good ship Catherine's Folly as set forth by Captain Dark William Markham. 
Every man shall obey civil command, the captain shall have one full share and a half in all prizes, the master, carpenter, and boatswain shall have one share and quarter. If any man shall offer to run away or keep any secret from the company, he shall be marooned with one bottle of rum, one bottle of water, one cutlass. If any man shall steal anything in the company or gamble to the value of a piece of gold, he shall be marooned or shot. If at any time we should meet another marooner, that is pirate, that man shall si that shall sign his articles without the consent of our company, shall suffer such punishment as the captain and company shall think fit. That man that shall strike another whilst these articles are in force shall receive Ludman's Law, that is forty stripes lacking one on the bare back. That man that shall snap his arms or carry a candle lighted without a lanthorn shall suffer the same punishment as in the former article. That man that shall not keep his blade clean, fit for an engagement, or neglect his business shall be cut off from his share and suffer such other punishment as the captain and the company shall think fit. If any man shall lose a joint in time of an engagement, he shall have four hundred pieces of gold, if a limb, eight hundred. If at any time you meet with a prudent woman, that man that offers to meddle with her without her consent shall 